Please take note that your wealthy today is not a guarantee that you'll be wealthy tomorrow if you don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking about? So don't get carried away. Well, I'm rich today. Well, what do you think they are talking about? What is it? No, no, no. Please understand the truth. Nigeria, the Naira was stronger than the dollar in the 70s. Those of you who are up to late 40s and 50s, we know. It was 70 Kobo to a dollar. Kobo, not Naira. 70 Kobo to a dollar. $11,000 was 9,000 Naira to go to school in Oklahoma University. You just write, without your school, sir, they will admit you. Nigeria was so powerful, not one person was dead in any embassy. You go to London without a visa. How come today Nigeria is poor? But it will change. Yeah. Where were the rich men who were rich in those days? Where are they now? Where is the world? Well, the politicians who sold money and today they are all poor. So don't be carried away with uh, this kind of preaching. is not for me. No, because even in church, there are people who believe that when they have small, small change, you know, all these preachings are not for me. Please calm down. With my little age, at least I've seen something on the earth. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? So how do I enjoy lasting wealth? Wealth, not just wealth for today and then you're broke tomorrow. Now by Abrahamic covenant, you and I are destined for prosperity. Is that true? Now, he said, and I will bless thee and that shall become what? A blessing. You know, see chapter 12? Two and three. And indeed shall all the families of Abraham. God was speaking to Abraham and he said, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Being made a cause from our cause, everyone that hung upon the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come to you. So every born again child is to enjoy the blessing of what? Abraham. You are not permitted to suffer what the world is suffering. So here. And every curse of poverty will drop in your life. And hear this, by prophetic agenda in Isaiah 2, 2 to 3, the end time church is supposed to be a prosperous church. It's supposed to be what? They say, which I see the heat. I cannot be heat. Are you the one? You are the light of the world, not the light of the church. So God is saying, if the church is not the building. The church is you and I. And then they say, church. Don't be thinking of the building. Church is you. <laughs> is that clear? When they say, church, Jesus Christ. Don't think that church, Jesus Christ is the building. No, that's not the church. The church, we are called the body of Christ. 